Squishy, squishy, squishy. Hey everybody, it's me Jay Lantis and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Barbie, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Amazon Princess, Wonder Woman. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> Why do these Comic Con ones always have these super long names? It's a deluxe, more fancier version of the one that they released with the movie. So this one is exclusive to the San Diego Comic Con, but she wasn't actually sold at the Comic Con. She was available online on MaddieCollector.com and currently available on the Barbie Collection website as well. So you can go get her on Barbie Collection if you want her. So she retails for US $80. So she comes in the usual Barbie Collector uh, kind of shoe box design boxes with the uh, lower piece and then you can lift this one off. So it's matte black with glossy lettering saying Barbie, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Amazon Princess Wonder Woman. So that's the name of the doll and she is a part of the gold label. So on the back it has the BVS logo and explains a little bit about the doll and her design. And down there it says no more than 5,000 worldwide. So uh, she comes with this little dust cover as well. Let me take that off. Ta-da! She also comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity. They're not individually numbered. Just say that she is an authentic uh, doll from Mattel. And here is Diana herself. So she comes in this red uh, background. So she is uh, posed very elegantly in her box. Uh, she comes with a stand, which is the rock for the base. That's super awesome. And this vibrant red color for the background, which makes her pop more. All right, so she have this super long hair compared to uh, what Gal Gadot had in the movie. And it's wavy and they're not gel too. Squishy, squishy, squishy. And her hair is styled very simple, but she does have a twisted braid. Kind of hard to see. Let me get a light. So you can see that little twisted braid that's across her head. Um, moving down, and then the face paint and the makeup all over wise is still the same as the first doll that they came out with. And her eyebrows are fierce. Her, the makeup is very subtle. I like it. And then moving down, we have her cloak. I don't know what uh, material is that, but it's quite beautiful. And then underneath, it has all these gold lame lining, which is just beautiful. And what's cool is that the blue layer is quite thin, so you can see the lame seeing through, which makes the uh, uh, blue layer sparkly as well, but not overdoing it. And then moving on, we have her bustier, the chest piece armor. So it's the same design as the original doll, but it's very glossy and very shiny. So is her tiara right there. So it makes it look very deluxe. Everything on her is uh, shinified. Is that a word? <laughs> Glossified. It's very beautiful. And moving down, we have her bullet deflecting uh, arm cuffs right here. Her bracelets, again, they are the same, but glossified. We have her sword, beautiful gold handle. These sculpted details, just amazing. And then we have her skirt, which is super awesome. It's so patriotic in a way, don't you think? And uh, it's paneled, you have these long, all the ways falling down. One piece, two piece, three piece, and this one is a little fourth piece. And it does have going under there as well to keep it holding on. And have these stars, but I'm not sure if they're actually metal or plastic, probably just plastic. But I do feel this bar maybe feel a little bit cheap though. For $80, I would have nice liked to feel something nicer, but it still looks really good not unless you feel it. I love the gold trimmings and the linings as well. Finally, we have her boots. So her boots, again, pretty much the same as the original one, but the colors and the gold are very vibrant. I love how bright the red is. Very nice. So last but not least, we have her stand. So this stand is the one that holds at the um, legs, not at the waist, nor at between her legs. So I, I really love this stand actually. Uh, they stand very much better than the saddle one and the waist one. And it's attached to this rocky piece right here, which is so cool. And the details on the rock, look at that. I thought it was gonna look really toy-ish, but no. The, 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 the detail, the texture is very nicely done. So I'm really impressed with that. She also has her golden lasso of troop. Okay, so right now let's do a quick comparison between her original doll and this new doll. So like I said, the makeup and the face paint seems very similar. So it has her tiara, her armband, and her uh, shield is the same sculpted detail as well, just painted differently. Her, I think, bracelets and arm cups are the same. The difference is that her um, sword 
See, so her sword is bigger than this one, especially the handle. This one is thinner and this uh, blade is thicker as well. And the thing she doesn't have is the leather straps. And also she doesn't come with this little nice thing that I like to hold. The lasso so it's just kind of tied there. And she, all her hands also don't come with the, uh, her leather straps that go along with it. And of course articulation, she have the action movable made to move joints. So if you debox her, you can really pose her around nicely. And the cape has a hood as well, so you can put it on her. Oh my god, it's making me really want to debox her because she looks so cool with a hood on in the new Wonder Woman trailer. But she is staying in the box because she's just so deluxe and fancy. And in Singapore, it's so dusty. Like if you dust something in the morning, by afternoon, there'll be dust again. And since my shelf doesn't have a closing glass door, I think she'll just be a dust magnet, so I'm leaving her in the box where I can enjoy her prettily standing there on the rock. Alright, so overall I think she's a fantastic and amazing doll. Like if you love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman or if you just love Wonder Woman in general, it's a must-have. Another thing is that the packaging, because she is posed so valiantly in there and of course topped with her rock. Uh, the background is coming kinda off. Even though I love the red because it pops her more, I wish it would have been a landscape, like a background of the mascara on her island. That would have been so awesome and she would have looked so much better like st uh, standing on her rock with that background. It would have been amazing. Even though I love the classic and simple, you know, that chic uh, Barbie collector boxes for her, I think they should have went with a new design, more of a scenic packaging or something like that to showcase her. So yeah, those are my only uh, complaints, but overall I think she is fantastic and amazing and I would give her a 5 out of 5. Alright guys, so I guess that wraps up my review on the Comic-Con exclusive Amazon Princess Wonder Woman doll. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, you can thumbs up and subscribe to check out more of my videos. And you can also check me out on Instagram at Daylantis Toys for more photos. But right now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!